After defeating Gutsy, I didn't get what I was after, so I had to kill her again. This was the fourth kill. But the event was won without the boss dying somehow. So I just gave myself Betsy's wrath. I think it's fair because a glitch prevented me from obtaining the treasure bag. That's that. Fuck that event. I'm not doing that anymore. I just, it's just, it's not. I finally have Betsy's wrath. I'm getting mythical on this thing. I don't care. There we go. It's done. Fuck that. I'm, I'm entirely done with that. I do not care that that was technically a tiny bit cheating. I used up my surplus of defender medals by selling them the most efficient way I could find. Six and a half platinum. Or six and a quarter. Wow. I also wanted Kaleidoscope, which with my new equipment was a breeze to obtain. There's her loot. I got the Jewel of Light, sick. I'm gonna equip that, actually. Actually, no, I don't need to equip it. I can just put it in my inventory when I press the buff key, it'll use. Night Glow, that sucks. Uh oh, okay, I'm fine. Holy shit, a whole dev set? Starlight? Alright. Rainbow cursor? Sure. Oh, I just go. Sweet. Legendary. Nice. There's no more preparation to do before the pillars, aside from some world cleanup I'm skipping. Despite just being the lunatic cultist, it took me a solid 10 attempts to kill him. The fireballs are deceptively dangerous. He really wants to just one-shot me, huh? He keeps using ancient light. Uh, for some reason, I'm thinking, you know, if he uses ancient light here, I am just dead. And I rot up Discord and he used ancient light. If I didn't rot up Discord there, I would have been gone. Oh, 
God, stop using so much ancient light. Holy crap. Learn another attack, dude. Hey, where's the purple? Where, where's the cool purple one? I'm almost there. I've almost got him. Just gotta not bungle it and get hit by ancient light. God damn. He's got 8,000 health left. There we go, prophecy's dead. Oh, he's dead. There we go. And I got the Ancient Manipulator without getting annihilated? Holy shit. Here oh. <laughs> the Stardust Pillar spawned in a hole. <laughs> the first time around, I took the time to get every relevant enemy banner for the pillars. I knew this would not be the last time I'd be dealing with them. At this point, nothing short of catastrophic hardware failure would stop me. Right banner. I'm using Aerial Bane to damage the pillar instead of going down there. Well, there goes the Solar Pillar. Oh! Stardust Pillar is cheesed as usual. a nice spot for the Vortex Pillar. It took a while to get the Storm Diver banner, though. Alright, got my Storm Diver banner. Now I need to go uh, kill the pillar somehow. What if I just YOLO it? Oh my god, it worked. <laughs> okay, that was cool. The Nebula Pillar, as you'd probably expect, was the worst of the bunch. Alright, I think it's working. Except for when a Brain Suckler manages to get on top of me. And with the pillars cleared, it was time to begin practicing the Moonlord fight. First death was entirely expected. I could practice the boss all I want, but without the sigils in the playthrough world, it's no use. Some strategies I used were adaptations of Spuddy's speedrun strategy guide. I've linked it in the description. There we go. Yep, this setup's a lot more consistent with the heart statues.
I did this a total of nine times, so I took easy options when I could. There we go, that's a better roll for Solar Fragments. No, please don't die. Please, some of you survive. Oh god, okay, they lived. I know this, this is the most engaging pillar kill ever. I flipped the nebula pillar technique upside down for good reason. The solar and vortex strategies are of my own creation and are identical. Just a simple spawning platform I could take down safely. Now that I had all the sigils I needed, there was one thing left. To finally finish the playthrough. of a journey. Dozens of hours of practice and all my focus. And I missed the double kill. But carried on. Good shot, one more. Couldn't avoid that, but recovered.
It's over, isn't it? I did it! What the fuck? What the fucking shit? It's over! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Thanks for watching. This was my biggest project I've ever fucking made. I'm not doing something of this scale again for the meantime, because it was too much. <laughs> I want to be able to make more videos, because I think that'll be more fun. Anyway, see ya.